We're here with Doug, and we're going to be showcasing just more of the map. Cool. Plus vengeance. Plus Oh yeah, you, you, that was revenge need. need, need. Oh right, because you're in the, the weird castle monster thing. Yeah. But I'm not going to beat that all way. It's more about vengeance than getting us stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I understand. Eat it, you fat bastard. Mm. So, huh? If you look at that, oh, like I hope you come across another stone. Oh, oh, oh plot. Stay in that pillar. You see that stone column right there? Yeah. If you look in the middle, those look like titties. <laughs> That's some dedication there, sir. <laughs> hey. <laughs> wow, Doug, uh, you must, you sound hungry. Uh, it, well, I haven't been in a, well, I haven't gotten through a dry spell yet, but, like, it's getting close. Look at, I, I sent you, Yeah. Yeah. Oh, As man, you know, this I place looks take, awesome, though. I didn't take over the world. Yeah, right. Let's, let's run through here. Mm-hmm. Jesus. She'll be fun. Oh, man. <clears throat> One thing I really gotta do, though, I have to get back to tutorializing, man. But at the very least, I made some progress. Because I, I had to get back to training the vehicle AI nonsense, but, like, there's a hitch. The way I do my vehicle AI... Is not is not Unify Pi kinda doesn't like it. <laughs> because like what usually how how vehicle how I do my vehicle AI um is it just it spawns and then it follows a and then it follows a path. Thing is, it doesn't like spawning and following a path. It just likes being there and fo following the path. It doesn't want to spawn first, it just wants to be in-game world. Okay. <laughs> So there are two ways I can fix it. Well, there, are, well, it's either a I look through other tutorials or uh, to, to see if I can um, do something with it, or b hard code like hard code like just have a bunch of cars in game, and then like toggle its visibility if the player's close to them, <laughs> so that way it doesn't so that way it doesn't lag the game out. I wonder what the boss looks like here. You said it, you said the boss is fused with the castle a la, um... The final Colossi in Shadow of the Colossus, right? Kind of similar to it, yeah. You know, I mean, it, 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 that's kind of how it... That's why you know the pulsing and the weird drainage and stuff is, yeah. Basically, the castle is it, but it's not going to be like a castle now. So you'll just go fight the main people. That's the best. Yeah. Uh, and, wait, buffer, huh. Wow, even Robert's sending me ideas for this lab lounge. Yeah, no, um, because I wasn't gonna, for the record, I wasn't gonna, um, um, uh, um, for the record, I wasn't gonna, um, uh, uh, Godfrey hoed up again. Like, I want to, but, like, I, hey, if, if no one wants Godfrey Hill, I'm, I'm not gonna, hey, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah. But, um... Oh, oh right, because you have that divine heal thing. Yeah, I just, I sometimes forget about it since on the other side. So, what the uh, hell? Oh, darkness. They inflict that. What? I just usually don't get hit by it to have darkness happen. Okay. Yeah, there's there's status ailments in the game. I just 
try to kill things before they happen. No, I mean, I, I, like, I, I guess I saw that with the fire bits, but I was not, like, darkness? That's actually pretty awesome. Yeah. The mm. so first time I played, it caught me off guard. They were like, doo doo doo, and then it was like, chalk, and she was like, oh, no! God, I'm still trying to pick that piece of food off my teeth. <laughs> Yeah. And those Chinese kids are not, I'm not gonna like this, this DJ session. <laughs> <laughs> but then again, I hate giving up my Saturday nights for, for this, man. Like, if I remember to send you the link, I'm gonna do that. Like, this is, um, I forgot the artist's name. One of my co-workers at Goodwill introduced me to the to this song, though. It's called Football Head. Alright, I'll jump the same time for no. Oh, no, dude. Like, yeah, I know, but like, that person's music, that artist's music, slow motion, uh, slow, um, it's a definitely a beat that you can just vibe to. So soothing, so relaxing, but at the same time you can just slow dance to it and like, oh my god, I can listen to this for hours. Okay. Mm. Yeah, man, it's so good. Hey, speaking of, like, oh, okay. Uh, speaking of, though, like, I found out one of my co-workers is an Uno freak. Like, she loves the shit out of Uno, which is weird because, um, I, I don't think she li and I don't think she likes me, like, um, knowing that for whatever reason. Because the person that introduced me to said, um, music, I think those two are dating. Um, or at least a thing. I think they're an item. In any case, like, it's, it's so weird because I'm just all like, um... I did not know you didn't want to. Like, she did not want me knowing that she likes to play Uno. I know, right? Like, really? Okay. I mean, I mean, yeah. I I asked your roommate out, but like, um, okay. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, so that's the thing that causes darkness. I thought it was the the mouth. Oh no, no. the mouth is just doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's just. It's just, it's just doing it Hey, um, so I was thinking of, um, uh, um, uh, something cool to do with, okay, so, remember when I was like, hey, Kermit the Frog in prison, scaring kids straight. Yeah. Call him Kermit, the, instead of Kermit, outright, we're gonna, uh, like, I'll parody him for Insane Heroes, and call him Kermit the Frog, and still, like, have him pay, still have to pay the Frizzog. But like, so the sto the backstory is that Kramit was uh, the superhero who has fallen from grace and is now in prison. Oops. Yes, th it has to be done. <laughs> it has to be done. Like I'm, I'm too in love with Kramit the Frog. I'm too in love with him. Can't just let him go. Yeah, I can't. Ugh. You have to do what you have to do, then. I know. I, I have to. I have to. <clears throat> I wonder what the 
the cooldown timer is on the on the divine heal bits. Oh, now so it changed the use. Remember, things level up as you go. Oh, okay. So eventually, that cooldown will change because it gets sooner because it does it with all your attacks and spells, and I think it's like rank three. Oh, okay. They all have the rank three where it's like cooldown is reduced, so you can just have to pay attention to your time of day. But it's much. Quicker. Oh, okay. Oh, man. That's the game's trap to get you into being like, hey, use your abilities. <laughs> Fucking use them. What? They'll never level up if you do. Oh, also that. Wow, okay. That is an even true boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You He's can... just hanging out. That's why I was like, nope. Not dying again just for that. <laughs> Don't die it again just for that. Okay. Why am I gonna die for mid boss? If I'm dying to actual boss, okay. Mid boss, no. You do not get my death. <laughs> you do not. Okay. That's, Man, I, that is just rules. You do. I mean, how would you feel? Th think about it. if you were even. Okay, let's put it this way. Mm -hmm. Just because they're popular, but you probably haven't played. Let, let's put it in a Persona terms. In most Persona games, at some point, you're fighting, at the end, some aspect of God. Yeah. One way or another. You usually are. How would you feel when you're like, I'm going through the final battle to go fight with God? And, like, low-level orc walks up and just one-hit crits yeah, I've been there. <laughs> yeah. Not with Persona, yeah. it, not with Persona per se, but with Shadowrun. When I'm playing like Shadowrun Returns, and I'm just all like, okay, this character just needs to hold out. He's completely full health, gets critted, and then a status effect, and then just gets killed. I'm like, the amount of shenanigans! And you know what the and yeah. you know what the kicker is? You want to know what the kicker what? is? The enemy's hit percent chance at that time was only 29%. <laughs> I was furious! The maximum, apparently, according to the system. Oh, I was that so... Was, oh. That was peak, peak percentage necessary. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, that's... Yeah, no, no, gaming systems can sometimes be weird. As a fan of most Shin Megami Tensei games, yeah, a lot of times, randomness in the game is not correct. Yeah. At all. Yeah, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem is also guilty of this. Mm -hmm. Any moment you think you're safe, that the game will be like, ha <laughs> ha mm. You left me a chance to do a crit in, and you didn't check all my stats and skills. Oh my Here. god. Yeah, that's Fire Emblem. That is that is Horde Swoggle Fire Emblem. Mm-hmm. Oh. I remember that there's been many a time I've reset just because of a battle. I've been like, when, when did you get this? I fought you, like, for ten minutes. And nothing. I saw you hit no one else with this skill. And then you walk up to me and you're like, ultimate tech. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the amount of... The shenanigan, or help! <laughs> when we were playing Disgaea 5, I remember that so vividly. Um, when you were yeah. playing Disgaea 5, you remember that one time? Like, uh, I, I think it was when I was telling you um, the the scenario where um, the three bears were in like marriage ca or like family canceling or something like that. And then, like, a zombie... I forget which character got hit from behind, but it was a crit hit, and she was instantly killed. And you were just all like, What the hell kind of zombie was that? What demonic... No! We will have none of this! <laughs> oh my god, that was great! Because it was bullshit! I'm, I'm sorry. If I'm in an actual battle, and something is my tier and beats me, I'm cool with it. I'm perfectly content, because I'm like, okay, that's a fuck up on my skill. 
when something low level that I can beat when I get out of bed in the morning comes over and crit kills me. No, everything needs to burn. <laughs> we are going full Doom Eternal. I'm putting on music. I'm murdering everything on the screen. Yeah, I remember that so vividly. That was so hilarious. I just... No. Between... And plus, with the shenanigans of that game anyway, between that and my own ninja fucking dodging my own healing, it, it, it gets you. <laughs> that was... Just, when you design a character to be proficient at dodge, and then it becomes so proficient that it's like, I refuse your healing buffs. Because I they think they're attacked. So I'm gonna dodge. Like, what the f- <laughs> I remember that it's night, coming too. coming from your ally, sir. Oh, I remember that note, too. I remember that, that one, too. Okay, for those who don't know, the, while, um... This was back in... This was back when me and Captain K... Because we go back to the old country that is Arizona. Um, I was I was watching him play Disgaea 4. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah, it was this guy of four, yeah. And, um, he... <laughs> his ninja character was dodging everything. But he was low, but the ninja character was low on health. So he tries to heal, and the ninja character literally dodges the healing spell, but not the attack that comes later on that killed him. Captain was furious. It makes no sense. <laughs> Why would your proficiency in dodge work on the healer, but not the next attack? Why? Who, who structures a game where the percentage chance of you dodging attack affects your heal, but the next time an actual enemy goes, I'm gonna hit you, you're like, nah, I'm gonna, it's my time. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, that was This is sometimes games you're just like that. No, I can't be right now. Why are you doing this? Yeah. That's when the RNG god will dis that I one of the reasons why I hate RNG. Hell, like um when I was playing like the first episode when we were doing like the first episode of Ninja Guide and Sigma, the one that didn't record and I got all those bad rolls and what's his face and I'm using the crappy bits on me. I was so angry, so upset with that. Yeah. Which, on that note, I mean, like, uh, cause I don't know if I ever want to uh, uh, ninja guide it up again. Ooh. You don't, you don't want that level of suffering back in your soul. Like I said, I thought uh, two was funner. I'll give you that, yeah. Mm. Oh. Behold, the traps that exist underwater. And I'm surprised you can sink so well. Oh no, game has no issues with me doing that. Mm. It has issues with me breathing. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is that? Oh. I thought that was another shrine thing. I don't know why I thought that was a shrine thing. Whatever. Hmm. I cannot. Oh. Uh, I really. I cannot wait for um. Doom two. Uh, Doom two. Doom. Uh, Doom chapter two. <laughs> yeah. You're like Doom two. It's like, sir. It's already. They've had it for a while. Ah, well, I mean, Doom Eternal just isn't fun, man. The resource management really does get to me. And I, well, I haven't tried the online multiplayer, and I don't want to try it because, no. It's not there for you. Eh. It's, not, it's not doing it. Doom was never online for me. Why would I want to play a multiplayer version of Doom? That does no. If I wanted a fast-paced shooter like that, I'd go to Unreal Tournament, which, on that note, nobody plays anymore. Yeah, I've never really heard anybody ever mention it. Well, because, like, okay, so Unreal Tournament comes with, it's it's free. Um, if you download, you just need to download the uh, engine. You just need to download Unreal 4 or 5. 
It's just that nobody plays it anymore. It, well, that makes sense, because, like, the best Unreal uh, tournament game was Unreal 2004. Like, nobody plays Unreal 3, but nobody played Unreal 3 mainly because, like, um, they took out the assault match, the assault missions, and, like, a ton of other things, so, like, all you had left was, like, um, that one territory control game mode, I think it's called Onslaught. Mm. Yeah. And there are, like, so many other shooters out there that do, that basically do that. I mean, like, Planet Side 2 is nothing but capture and control, but, like, yeah. I don't know. One game I do want to make though, which is kind of Unreal Tournament. -y. Oh shit! I think you're out of uh, you're out of air. Yes. Uh, I'll just die. So it's cool. One thing that I uh, that's the dedication to to you must be in. I'm out of air. <laughs> So, um, one thing I want to do is, um, like, have a <laughs> East Coast, West Coast mech deathmatch. Hmm. Yeah, like, you see Gundams fighting battle, uh, battle mech or whatever, or Gundam inspired yeah. stuff fighting battle tech, uh, inspired stuff, or mech warrior battle yeah. stuff, yeah. I mean, who wouldn't want to see, like, a Gundam just, uh, take down, like, um, how something out of Exo Squad or, or Battletech 2030 something. True. Yeah. It'll make all the, the mech codes will all be like, yes. Mm -hmm. Finally, our time has come. And finally, Wing Zero can get put down a notch because Wing Zero thinks it's so cool, even though it's not. On that note, well, I think your I, cannon on it is. That's about it. Honestly, I don't think I have a favorite Gundam. I mean, yeah, I like Death Scythe, but like, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna um, go head over heels. I mean, because now, like, Amaro's stupid thing has the funnels. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Well, see, that's that's where mine's tricky because. With me playing that, that Gundam game, I have access to suits that I didn't know existed in the canon before. Mm -hmm. So I kind of have a love of some suits that I don't fully have the grasp of why they exist. But they are awesome. So, I don't know how to feel. Because I, I don't have the time to go dig through every Gundam suit and be like, where was this? Let me watch all of them. But there, there are some suits that I don't kind of be like, I like. <laughs> okay. You have fun. <laughs> there is a. Like, I came across a free to play, like, Gundam game. Or whatever. It's like, uh. But it's a, but it's a first person? Ah. Uh, I somewhat know of some. I don't know if I'm gonna grab that, in all honesty. That could be touch and go. Well, because I don't know what. Like, I'm. I miss the big multiplayer battles and stuff like that. Someone was like, I did see, um, like, I don't know, maybe I'll grab Chivalry 2, that one first person game where you're playing as a knight. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I remember seeing a trailer. Yeah, I don't know. They're on it, but I also have, like, a of other games that I've heard. Wow, that Well, I'm, I'm assuming that secretly the crit hit, but when you use the heavy attack. Oh. Because that does happen to enemies regardless of their size sometimes. Like, even some of those big dudes. Mm -hmm. Later on, there's a point where I can do that attack, and if I hit it just right, they'll go fly off just like the smaller dude. It's like, okay. I think there's like a crit counter thing that, like, Links them, but it's the timing. Mm -hmm. I think you have to know what the timing is, and I really don't know what it is. It just happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I think it's supposed to be like an actual, like 
your attacking kind of deflect. Oh, okay. I still think the clam is really a bad thing to say for a woman's cooch. Yeah, I mean, it's not the most polite. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. So, um... What? Oh, it's an every- oh, it's a what? It's a word? Yeah. Uh, every- So, uh, like, I don't know, because, like, what about this? What is this? Like, my multiplayer is really easy to scratch right now. I was playing the meta Halo, and then that meant, but that was a waste of time, because some of the Halo was the really online game was a bit, and nobody plays Infinite anymore, apparently. Yeah, um, I've never heard anybody speak of Infinite still now. Yeah, I mean, like, when. When, like, when it first came out, initially, everybody was all like, Yeah, Halo Infinite, and the multiplayer is surprisingly good. But now, X amount of time has passed, time. and yet <laughs> nobody likes it. I figured that's what would happen. Because it's it, games like that go through a cycle. Because it's the same thing that Fallout 76 is going through now. When it first came out, everybody hated it. But then they tried it with the like Then they tried to tweak it to be like, oh, Okay, we like it. Everybody still hate. It. Now that it's been a long time, everybody's suddenly like, "Oh, I went back to playing." It's like, yeah, that's. <laughs> it's a cycle everybody usually does before it's about to end, because in the last few moments, people go, "Oh yeah, that was there. I wonder what it's like now." And it usually gets popular because everybody didn't play it back when it was going. Yeah. I mean, at least Planet Side 2 stays consistent. Planet Side 2 is still consistent. Yeah. That's not your part. It's just, it's just that, the, you know, Planet Side 2 is over 10 years old, so nobody, nobody's, no, nobody's playing it anywhere near as much anymore, which makes sense. It's over 10 years old. Yeah, it, it, it basically would maintain its dedicated fans. Yeah. I mean, you'll not get, like, like, it'll be at a, at a, at like a thousand players or something like that. Which is still good, don't get me wrong, for, for a game that's over 10 years old. Yeah, no, that's still good. Yeah, but, like, you know. Uh, I don't know. But I get what you need. Yeah, I just need my itch scratched. There's not a lot of, uh, and I don't have any options. I did try, um... Like, Left 4 Dead is still a thing. Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, they're still, like, around uh, really good. But, like, that's... That, <laughs> I need something more than just going around, uh, uh whacking out, oh, killing Zambo, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure I'll find something. Some will pop into existence. Yeah. You yeah, know, I'll give it some time. Ugh. Nice. I wonder what that is. Huh. I gotta admit though, man, this cavern looks this this cavern looks beautiful. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Any environment you go through on here, they put the effort. Mm -hmm. Like every bit of it is draws your eye. Even the creatures in it, they fit in to where you're like, okay, nice. Like, yeah. Well, it's... Triple A don't make the standard any... Don't set the standard anymore. It's, uh... It's indie. Yeah. So I was gonna... I mean, that's kind of where it's been, what, the past... Like, two years it's been kind of creeping into that because it's been more just indie stuff coming out consistently and everybody talking about it. Mm -hmm. And then everybody's like, oh... Well, here comes that triple A, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wonder what, um... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Never mind. Yep. We're at the... <laughs> we're at the... Ah. You will have to have your concerns later. Next time. Okay. 